What is going on, gamers? Welcome to another base tour here today. We've got Lorthon. He's going to show us around their builds here. And uh, make sure you guys let us know in the comments what your favorite part is. And be sure to like and consider subscribing if you haven't. And check out the description for Lorthon's Twitch if you want to go check that out. It will be down below. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on, man? Hey, dude. Yeah, it's good to finally get to this. I was worried if I actually get this done in time. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Well, I'm, I'm away next week. So oh, okay. Perfect timing, of, then. A bit of a scramble to kind of finish it off. So. Right. But, but yeah, All so right. this build, the inception of this build, started off with a single line of decision of making a... Make it a what town? Um, a walled town. Oh, so basically okay. Wall. So okay. the outer wall is pretty basic, but it does have three different types of to kind of give a bit of uh, uniqueness. And yeah, I like it. It's pretty neat, actually. I haven't actually seen anybody do anything like this yet, so this is pretty Well, I didn't want to just cool. have a straight placed wall with just one build block type, but you can do some really cool stuff with just one block. But I right. feel like sometimes adding another one or two blocks in kind of really changes it a little bit to a natural... Yeah, absolutely. Sense. Absolutely. Um, so I'll take you quickly up one of the gate the wall, actually. This is where the one issue with this game I would place a block. Right. Um, also, chairs are really grabby. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah. Um, but yeah, if we go up this ladder quick, so okay. all the towers are very similar. Um, they all kind of, okay, again, cool. a lot of this is quite bare because of the lack of placeables for, mm -hmm. um, they have done a really good job with the recent update, but I try chose not to any of that just yet. I really like so, the, just the, the simple, uh, like archer pillars here. They yeah, actually look, they well, actually look really cool. Whatever block also, that is. That the uh, weathered stone, and then also you got the so it's basically the same stone weather line, uh, rough cut. Oh, okay, fine. cool. Um, and then obviously, I did a ruined tower at the end because the right. line is literally right where this tower is, so it yep. goes off the cliff. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of debris, kind of cutting a bit of debris. Whoa, whoa, um, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, my character just flipped out. That was weird. Yeah. Um, then we have kind of what I dubbed as the sort of like guardhouse, like okay, this is a quite simple at the bottom. And oh yeah, the I like these little cutouts too, like on the on the kind of upper walls. Yeah, it was trying to find a way to kind of break up a, a fascia of just. <laughs> Heck yeah, but, this is um, where yeah, all the is... this is where the town defense sleeps, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite a small town, so it was like I kind of wanted to have a, another building, and I was like trying to work out place. That. So um, we've got the four different houses; they're all. Kind of some design, but I'll take you into. I'd say, oh wow! I like how you did the. I like how you did the the railing here. That's pretty neat. Yeah, well, I was trying to find a way to kind of the um, metal bars with something which isn't too overbearing because most of the blocks themselves are too chunky. Aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they and really so are. If I use a roofing piece, yeah, feel free to go into the subject. Have a quick. Most all the houses are very similar, but very yeah. cool. I could use a bath actually. <laughs> yep. Okay. Don't mind me. <laughs> For it, dude. Go for it. Just having a wash up here. Um, so the one of the other houses is almost identical to that one, but we do this to be. Oh, okay. The, yeah, I really do um, like the the way that you did the railing. That's pretty pretty unique, for sure. It, it's say it's trying to find something which wasn't too chunky. So this is the top window. Seat. Very nice. So I've done variations of window seats in builds so far. Like this one was obviously using the stone bench with mm -hmm. the wibble thing. Oh yeah, cool. Kind of given, but I've done a few different variants. They're all in quite a different length. Right. They got a fancier tub over here too. Yeah, well, I also <laughs> kind of designed them a little different depending on the, with what decorations I use. <laughs> so, yeah. Heck yeah, but dude, I this is sweet. Of difference between. Oh, I actually really like this. Uh kind of basement window in the side of the wall down here yeah, on the outside well, I, too. I designed it a little bit based off of historical um French. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, Cuz in France, the uh, pockets of France, they used to have cellars with windows. Mhm. Mm um with a railing across it which was basically to keep air. Out. Right. Um, so it's a little bit designed off of this tell all, this, tell the all the rodents started the... climbing through the windows. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a different sort of door actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind um, of a uh, two two totally different very cool. I've also done different shit in here. Oh, okay. Here. You'll see them crew. I have locations in here. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so all this is... Thing, yeah. So when they all this is just grinded recipe, materials and I stuff. Like, yeah. I was like, the book recipe change was... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was then, ridiculous yeah. to make, like, bookshelves and stuff previously. The honors? Wait, what? Oh. Yep. <laughs> I always do these with my HUD off, so I don't see all the hidden yeah, places. Yeah. If I say do the honors, it means it's a secret. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Which 
This is one of the things actually. There's part of this build I mind. <laughs> okay. If that's okay, I just up to you though. I, I don't have to lie. Sure. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Um, Let me add it. I so guess. This is obviously if you look at how normal old style churches like a surrounding wall. Okay. Door, like almost some of these used to have wooden doors built but a lot of them would just like, encourage people to venture then we have the graveyard so we have surface crypts so these are oh okay they have, like, kind of oh yeah yeah um, it, so it actually looks like the, a sarcophagus um, inside yeah, type so of this thing this is a sarcophagus here you can get. oh okay that's what i made it out of, which is um fancy stone and then um, whoa what the heck i made a coffin what the heck yeah that's that of, um, yo that's crazy yeah. I was trying to work out how to make a coffin in this game, but I was like, I'm damned if I'm not going to make it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I literally was trying to figure out what, yeah. like, where you got so, that from. And th is it just a bunch of chests? Mixture, it's just a bunch of the um, wooden boxes. Oh, that, wooden boxes, yeah, that's so. crazy. Yeah. What the so heck? There are a bundle of different graves in here. So you've got some with a stone surround, just, and then you've got grave robbing. Oh, see. yeah. Oh, wow, oh. dude. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah. I like that. I, that's like, pretty I dope. Want, I, I wanted to do an open grave, and I was like, Let's do grave robber. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this way we've got a little tiny bit of shoe. Um, I don't know if you've seen this starting area as bare bones or not um, before any changes. So we've got the end of the wall there with the little tower, which is quite basic. Um, right. It's not quite so as the others. Come. So this originally, there's an indentation here, but no time. Okay. But if you through this, it takes you to a little iconic spot, which originally in the base game, there is a book here. Right, so right, there. right. Yep. Um, and then I just kind of planted a secret hideaway. Cool. But Very so maybe, nice. But yeah, this this little passageway here is hardly in the spawn, but it's not mm -hmm. actually a passageway. It's just like a little indented size. So right, I right. Try to keep the visual almost identical, but just um, heck yeah. And then we've got the, so the church has got quite a few different blocks in the outside. Ooh. Um, so you can kind of see there's refined stuff. What do you what do you stuff. use for these little tiny headstones here? What is that? That is that's a stone, sh and there's also the wooden toilet. Oh, that's pretty cool. The stone chair and the wooden toilet. And then obviously, um, there is obviously, I did yeah. like, uh, like a city wall. What a freaking cool idea. What the heck? So, the church itself, we will. Oh, yeah, this is the one I remember you saw the picture. Oh, so yeah, the ceiling, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember the two blocks I used for the ceiling. That's weathered and it's not the rough cut, it's the other stone block. Very cool. And then the window is iron windows and iron. Oh, yeah, that actually color. looks pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. Combined together like that. This, which a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. Trying to get everything at the right heights. Right, right, right. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass because when you place one thing, you can't place another thing because it tries to win a little bit. Yeah. Um, if we'll quickly go up to the bell tower. Just come back for example. Oh, the okay. Ooh, the, the bell tower. It's a little bit, but this is the above where the ceiling is. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. And then, this is where the hunchback hides, right? <laughs> you, you, can't, yeah, you can't climb the bell tower because the bell's in the way, but if you look up, you'll see the bell. Oh, okay. Um, and then Ouch. you can also fall down. Yeah. <laughs> I, found I fell down that hole four or five way. times. I <laughs> fell down that hole four or five times. When I, Very cool got, like, church. Here, this is like a look, and then obviously as you come in, you notice yourself if you, if you don't see the door. Right, right, right. You come in, so it's kind of it's not not really hidden, but it's in, if you close the door and you can see the Oh, okay. Very reminiscent, actually, of historical where priests would actually have a very big room, amenities, which is where. Oh really? And then you got the same sort of design with the cellars of the outside. Oh yeah. Room, and then we come into the. This I would say, take your time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> my god man we need first person view for base tours yeah, like it, these it really it really would be <laughs> if you get any questions at all you feel from that yeah i'm just looking That's around it. man this is cool and the other side oh ahead. man there's not a lot of oxygen down here though <laughs> we're struggling <laughs> not for the cluster uh oh my god dude the next crypt yeah. you should build should have like three wall tall roofs <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is pretty sweet. So so this is um, where I really dabbled with light and seeing how, if you have a clipping mm -hmm. lights, how you clip it. Um, and this is obviously you can see down there. Right, but right. If you clip the skull candle a certain amount, it causes that on the angelic Almost glow. like glow, yeah. Yeah. Pretty so, cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Then, what the heck? Yeah, oh, this, yeah, this, this is the crematorium. This the, yeah, it was a lot of fun making Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I had the idea of seeing something about myself. this. I will try it and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, it turned out great, dude. So, turned out really great. <laughs> and then the other side here is the embalmed where basically. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing pictures of this. This was definitely yeah. one that stuck with me for sure. This is the nice. I'll be honest. I was really surprised actually with the thing like that wooden thing here with the handle was used to make one bench. Right, right, right. I was really happy when I found it. You could actually tap for it rather than just being used. Right. I was really pleased with that. Kind of really. Hits home some of the. Yeah, they're very expensive though. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. 
stand on here and look up in the hole. Oh, cool. What the heck? Yeah, you that's definitely, you definitely had some fun with which, lighting. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, this because obviously in here, if you um, if you look, if you sort of stand next to one of these, you'll see the blue glow on top. Oh You've yeah. Got a nice warm glow around, so it's kind of like a contrast. So we we'll go this. Okay. So this is the what I would dub as sort of like the fungus. Like started delving. Oh okay. I was really pleased actually with the thing here, Alter. How well mm -hmm. it lined up. It kind of looks like. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does look like it's kind so, of pouring out of it a little bit. Yeah. It was pure luck, like a lot of it. So the bookcases, they have a light behind them. Oh, cool. So it just kind of adds a lot of it. There's so, there's so much to look at here, but like on a much, oops, on a much smaller scale. It's kind of yeah. kind of neat how you were able to pack so much detail into such a small little... It's a tricky thing, because I'm, I'm from an RP background. So every time I usually build, I'm usually building real element and stuff like that. So I kind of applied the same sort of style to... Oh, yeah. Um, oh, this place is so. neat. What the heck? Yeah, this is after I learned how to do um, rubble, which I regret not seeing your stream when you were doing it because it took me like 30, 40 minutes to work it out. Yeah, yeah, so, it's uh, um, it took me so a lot I, of a lot of playing around with so things, with the and I flooring here. Go on. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Go okay. ahead. Okay, so the flooring here, I managed to basically get a couple of wooden benches in to kind of. Oh okay. Out. The wood bits in here. Are... I'm sitting in the rubble. <laughs> Time out. Go if you look down this path. Mm hmm. You can sort of see, um, I'm not sure how the light is, the light's a bit... Yeah, it's, it looks great for me. Yeah, so if you look down the passageway, you'll see like a little glow. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's almost hidden, yeah. If you look down, you'll see a glow. Yep. Like two different types of glow. One's like a shimmer. You walk through the shimmer, the shimmer will disappear, but then you're, and you're walking. That's pretty neat. It's like a little hide or maybe got stuck in there. To... <laughs> I can't get out of here. Survival status. Okay, so I'm going to give you a choice. We can either go down from here or we can go down. Uh, let's just go down from here, whatever that okay, means. So, <laughs> follow me. So, if it does get too dark and you want to throw the torch on, boy, yep. this is this is all lit with different glows. I would say pop the torch off. You'll see the different glows. Oops. In your, you'll, see, you'll see a different because I've used oh, yeah. um, luminescent growth, which is the rain block. Mm -hmm. Little pockets here and there, and it's placed. You don't see the blue glow. You don't see the blue glow of the block, but you'll see the blue omniance. It's a very subtle element. So we'll go. Okay, so this is basically the walk. Uh, pilgrimage of the okay. Um, so this whole place is built around the fallen, was what it kind of became. In here. Oh my god, so, man, it's so then, hard to breathe in here. And then here <laughs> is the temple. Oh, you, you can turn your to torch off. I think it's wow, this definitely looks like some hidden artifacty type. Yeah, so again, this is a mixture of different blocks temple block, uh, the sun temple sandstone. And, I love the fire sound of these brazers, they uh, sound so cool. Yeah. Compared yeah. and compared to all the other yeah, ones, they, they really do. And then, um, so in this section, again, if you want to, the shroud. Able to escape through on. So this is built with the shroud quite a bit within this build. With the shroud being right next to it, I thought, right, I'm gonna include it in the build in some way. I've done a few little caves there. So those caves are technically lit blue by the luminescent. Right. So through here, um, what we'd do is we'd go. Oh, would you look at that? So, um, you can choose. Either the way behind you or this. Which oh my gosh. Right? Like a living Goosebumps book. Left or right. <laughs> up or down. So, you've got either, so we go this way. So we've got, I've done all the stalagmites and stalactites. So like all the, all the, the earthworks in here are designed. Whoa. We'll get to that. That's the, the big section. That's, <laughs> the, that's the big surprise, I guess. So I did a section under here with, um, with Duke. Again, if you pop your torch off occasionally through here, you'll see the difference. Through yeah. The glowy, glowy. Very cool. All kinds of shrubbery down here. I designed the plants based on what I thought. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like tricky in some ways because some of the plants you're like, I really want to use them, but they just... And also, if you occasionally look up, you'll see... Like, oh, yeah. So, so this room is a little different. So we won't go down just yet. We got pass we, we choose a passage down and there's three different... Uh, well, two different options. One's in here. Okay. So the way we could have come down, we came down from the surface, was through here. You'd have come... Oh, wow. Like this hitch is a small sort of... So we got this one which is down through or we can go down uh just this way i guess okay <laughs> too early for so all these decisions follow me <laughs> follow me because it is a little tricky if you if you're not a hundred percent yeah so, it does get a little bit dark in response but i managed to place the blue luminescent block in there you might want to we have arrived so there is a lot of passages some of them you may or may not find so the original tent if you look up from where we came down you'll switch light up on 
Yeah. So there is a couple of wooden broken pieces. This is the originally where, so this is what, rekindling the past, sort of oh, okay. preparing to venture in. Gotcha. Um, we do so this is like the, the this is like the like archaeological yeah. freaking yeah, dig much. site type of comes thing. Comes down here, and you've got a little cubby with. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then we come down, and then we've done some rubble and some <coughs> pocket. Wow. Free. So what kind of story do you got going along with all this down here? Um, so it's, it's basically rekindling the fallen flame. So this was originally where the flame, kind of like the story I have, because we don't really know much too much about it in Shrouded and its story. But I was thinking like the, the original flame was kind of heated in some way. We believe most of that's linked to Balthazar. And I was like, but what if it wasn't? What if it was the, uh, between Balthazar with the s ah! and then on top of, yeah. I found a mysterious top. hole. And, um... And it was just like kind of like thinking about like rekindling the original fl the flame born that unfortunately did perish. So you got two ways out. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm one of those people that likes to have lots of. Yeah, pretty cool. So if you look at the top of. Heck yeah, this is so <laughs> wild, so different. If you, go, if you go through the bottom here again. Oh, same difference. There's another hidden very, door. Very different, which will make sense when you get there. Right, man. I feel so much so more comfortable like out here in this big open room than in them little tiny yeah. freaking. Yeah. <laughs> no, I understand that completely. It's not for everybody. Um, and then if we come down here, so what we do is we start in the bottom line. So this one's got a mixture of different. Turn your light, you'll see the enter, but also. Yep. And so I've got three different light effects, one of the important. Very cool. Uh, and then we can go. Oh, wow. Wow. This is freaking cool, dude. This I did is a lot so of neat. Here. Because I wanted to add a bit more of like the archival and then right. the dark has been moved. It's very impressive how much stuff you have packed into this, all this. It's like I keep in, unveiling new things that you've worked on here. Pretty yeah. neat. And then if we could... Pretty big emphasis on 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 the the undead here. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You're in the nose. You're in the nose. A face. Huh. But... Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It wasn't really designed that way originally. It kind of just ended up that way. Yeah. Very awesome. Is there Dude. Do you have any queries or questions? Um, actually, I could show you. Um, I'm just kind of in shock. Like this bit. is this is I, I didn't I would have never bits. expected to see all this down here. It's so cool. Well, this is all on one altar. Oh, really? Very yeah, nice. Yeah. So this is a bottom of a big. Because if you look up through here, you can see a little. Oh so you yeah. Where we came down first into the. Mm -hmm. You come past like a little split on the wall. You that's. The oh okay. There is a sort of like a wrap around, and then I'll, so okay. this is where the plants. Oh, okay. So this is like the here. other route that I didn't take or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I almost fell in this hole because I thought I was going to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I dodged it. Oh, I believe me, it's very easy to get lost. It really is. Very cool. Very unique. Freaking, yeah, dude. This is... And then you got the static mic. Yeah, they're such a pain to make, but yeah. I, At least I didn't you, really find them... I didn't find them too bad because I made a lot of smaller ones, obviously, in the, in the cave seconds. Right, the small ones look ones. really, really good. Um... Yeah. All right. Actually, well, I'll if take, there's, I'll take, you, I'll take you on one of the rooms. I'm gonna be coming back up. Ouch! Ow, that hurts. Oh dear. It's okay. I got a healing ball. We're chilling. Yeah, I'll take you back up. Okay. Show me, show me, show First, me more. Do we take a left? Obviously, there's a little, little offsets here. You don't need. So this is where we would have come down. You can see offset. Oh, okay. Yeah. Almost so fell in it. A, yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a, a spiral. Bigger. Yeah. Staircase oh, type thing just goes up. up it. Wow. <laughs> Very neat, man. Very creative. So much packed into such a small area. I'm just freaking... I wish we had a first-person mode so I could really, like, absorb yeah, everything. Yeah. My Think big old freaking head keeps getting in the way. Thing. You know what this reminds me of? It kind of... I don't know if you've ever played Diablo, but this kind of reminds me of, like, a yeah. Diablo map. <laughs> kind of what I... Kind of the vibe I get no, from it. I don't I, know. I can get that. I can get that. A lot of people, when I was building this, on because I, I streamed the entire... Day. Right, right. Uh, a lot of people were saying, like, I'm getting... Cool. I'd like it. I, I'd like <laughs> people getting different vibes from it, you know. And, and they were right. kind of being very descriptive over the vibes they were getting. And obviously, the, the township up here, it does look a little different at night time. But yeah, this was more of a starting idea. And then when I built the church, which, to be honest with you, if you um, like it, mm -hmm. and look, you see the section that comes down. That oh, yeah. was the reason why I did the seating in the because I just mucked around with blocks I could do to kind of change. Oh, the and, you, and you were like, oh, that's kind of sweet looking. That's kind of cool. I think cause I said on stream, right, mistake. That it gave me an idea to make a church or a cathedral, and as someone in my channel can do point redeem, redeem me for me to build stuff. Right, right. And they redeemed for me to build a church, which is why the church happened. And then when the church happened, the catacombs happened. And then when that happened, then the cabin below. And it was oh like God, you're effect. brave, dude. So, I could, I could never so, do a point redeem yeah. for building. I'd freaking be on here all twenty four seven. I've done them for Valheim, <laughs> Conan, and Elder. So, yeah. But yeah, like right. this whole build started with just a single sentence of 
build a walled town, and it right. spawned into this. And the total of this total hours spent on this build, minus a little bit of gathering, would be about very. Yeah, I would have. I would have thought was it was twice. How... I would have thought it was twice as many as that. You're a quick yeah. worker. A lot of it is, and this is gonna this is gonna sound maybe odd. I don't know, but when I build, I start off with a very bare bones, and then the bits itself. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. The, as I'm putting bits together, it kind of it kind of tells you like this or this works or change this. And I'm I'm pleased to say in Shrouded is the first uh, game I played building wise. I haven't started a project and tore it down and rebuilt it. This right. place I tore down pockets of it to rebuild, but I didn't tear the whole thing, which I usually do in build. Yeah, yeah, I'll but do, this, I, I'll do this exact same thing. Yeah, but the thing for me is like when I've built something once, I can build it again very quickly. Mm -hmm. So if I do decide to make a jaw move some, it takes me forth because yep. I know how it is. Um, but yeah, I would say outside, if, I don't know if you want to see it in this or not for the video, I can show you my hub that I do them from if you want. So uh, sure, why not? If you to the north, you'll see a tier four. Um, it's near the um, Rebel Wood. It's okay. Just the... do, 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 do. This is my first build. Basically right. Cool. I am invisible still. There we go. So this is the altar, which I did a very rekindled. Oh, okay. So this is like the place where you've got all your storage and everything else. Yeah, all the storage. So I've got planting storage. This is the hunter's side here. I build very immersively. Not great for productivity because you have to run here and everywhere. But yeah, I don't no, care. no, that's the same thing I did with my starter <laughs> town. I built everybody <laughs> yeah. buildings okay. uh, with their own storage here. shit. Um, my own personal house, which was the last thing I built town <laughs> for maximum rested bones, and then um. We got the blacks. The oh, cool. Cartridge just up there with the, I'll show you the. Uh, it's you very look. interesting to me that you chose to build your first place out here, but then your other build, you went back to the to the beginning area. Yeah. Well, I was trying to find a place I like the look of. If you stand on the top. Of oh. That's there's the a tower up there. Yeah, that's the tower. Very cool. I, I would say I'd take you up there, but it takes a bit of time to do. <laughs> oh, it's it's fine, man. No worries. If you want to go up, you can. It's up to you. I don't mind. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. No then, worries. Um, then over here, I've got the farmers, bees, another. Bit of this farm, is actually which has really no cool. Real purpose, but just. Yeah, I like the I like um, the combo then, with the dirt path and the and the yeah. and the farm soil. It, it's it, pretty good. And obviously the farmers. I'll show you my. I've got the mushroom farm. That's the new guy. I'm, this is my story. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it. it. Very well then. Every poke. Every box leads into another box. So it's all like. Design so if you go to the bottom box, the whole process is left is right. So it's basically all flows into each other. Sweet. So it's easy. And then I will strongly recommend if you ever want to do farming, do this because you oh, will yeah. drain your water so far. <laughs> uh, yep. The box water the is. is uh, water. I'm curious yeah. how they're going to do water then, if they ever introduce water into the game and, and how they're going to change. Food this is food storage. If you look in any of those, this is, um, yum yums. All the yum yums. If you want to look at my current food supply. Dang, bro. Yeah. That was like. Glow minutes. soup? Oh my god, I've never seen that. That's some beefy stuff. It's like 20 minutes of that. Oh, 20? I, That's I it? In, I grow in bulk. Yeah, I grow in bulk. If you look in this, these two boxes in here... This... I love that they added the yellow trees for us to plant yeah, for resin yeah. now. Yeah. You take a look in the box. Oh yeah, very nice. I have tried... I played around the new trees as well. But this is the build that kind of fueled the other one. And I would say I did very little when I gather. Um, I don't remember one of your videos you did. Right. I can show you a trick, which is really effective. Uh, sure. Why not? You we're we're go... we're going pretty 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 far harvest. over yeah, over time right now. Steps. So go to the Springlands Tower and I go to harvest. Fly down to harvest. Home. Everybody that's still watching this hour-long video right now is gets some some uh, <laughs> Sorry, extras. <man. laughs> You're fine. I was like trying to do an outro like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> we but, get um, carried this away. This is something I found. If you want to get. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I come to get um, dirt, too. Or farm yeah, so soil, this, not dirt. This here. Yeah, you the go mud. From one end to the other. And clear. If you dig down, so you basically get the full um, circle of pickaxe in the dirt as you go forward and just much all the way through it, you'll get close to 2,000 in one. Very area. cool. So yeah, they've got really everything over here. Dirt. There's dirt, yeah. mud, and the, and the flower soil as well. Well, you can make flour. Yeah. Well, I don't know if. I Why does this a, look a different recipe. than mine? This whole area looks different than mine. Ow, you freaking sure. turd! Um, anyway. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, That's yeah. so weird. I don't remember this yeah. bridge or this like mud river here on my my game. Maybe I'm crazy. No, it's, it was there. It was there. You probably just didn't see it. Um, and the only other thing to say was I know uh, you talked a little bit about how to get limestone mm -hmm. and whatnot. 
Uh, one thing that I did find, which is more efficient than what you shared, uh, was if you actually dig into a rock, if you're going horizontal, you will get more stone than you will surface mine. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, like, whatever, whatever you're mining with a pick, try to go horizontally and fill the circle with as much of the resource possible, and you'll get. Oh, okay. So, just can't it's AFK it like it's I a do. Little thing that, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's just one of those things I did find. That is interesting. To, mining to see what was worth notifying, and it was like, that's one of the things that, if you got the gather in the skill tree to get extra as well, it props right. more often. The, 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 Very cool. All right, well, we can wrap this thing up now. Go for it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, like I said, let us know your favorite part, if you still remember, because it was like three hours ago at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, make sure you check the description for his uh, uh, Twitch link and everything. Go drop him a follow. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.